Hello, folks. Welcome to tonight's game. This one's going to be good between the Kansas Jayhawks and the Indiana Hoosiers. Number 23 is one of the best freshmen in the nation, and he'll attempt to prove that tonight as he and his team try to pull out a victory. He's the complete package. He seems to have a knack for coming up with the big plays when his team needs them, be it a bucket or a stop. He delivers. The Hoosiers will have to utilize his skill to the fullest potential, Dick. The Hoosiers are getting a very tough opponent tonight, Dick. What's the key to victory for? Hey, they've got to do the simple things out there, and they should be okay. First, get a hand up in the face of all the outside shooters. Secondly, get the ball on the interior. See if you can get their big men into foul trouble. Lastly, don't let turnovers decide the game. Protect the ball. Take care of the basketball. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. There was no doubt about that one. Controlling the ball. They work the perimeter. For two, perfectly executed. Stolen away. They get it out into transition. The game is changing, Brad. These days, guys are consistently playing above the rim. Up and inside. Hobbs receives the pass. He puts up the tray, sinks it. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. It sticks. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Great elevator man, man. That's the elevator guy. What a high riser. to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Jumps into the defender. He gets the shot to fall. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't call it the six man for no reason. Hobbs is feeling good. Hey, whether you win or lose, you shouldn't be afraid to show your emotions. And the slam. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Kicks it out. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Trying to feed inside. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. to get it to the inside. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Trying to go inside. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. He shoots from the top of the key. Dumps it in on the inside. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. The skip pass is picked off. Long lead pass. 
Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Stolen away. Nothing going to come easy tonight, baby. They are really playing for keeps. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. A uh, terrific job creating the opportunity, and it really converts an offensive transition. Top of the circle. You betcha. Cue up the replay, fellas. And there's a lazy pass, it's stolen away. Turnover, will it turn into two the other way? Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. The center handles the pass. Robs him of the ball. And our trifecta for the night. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Slam jam, bam, up and away. The elevator man, they love it. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. That's a seven-zip run. He went for the steal in the post, and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I tell you one thing, what a poor job defensively. He gambled. Both teams are looking to get something going here. And up, doesn't go. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. High post player flashing. Launches away. Oh, yes. pass in the paint. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Thinks about the shot. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect for him saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He uses the shot fake. On the dribble, gives it up. Too physical. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. Makes the first. the second he makes all of them gave it up Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call, though, by the official. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Double team now, bad angle. Turnover City now always really negate any offense. 
Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He attempts the trifecta. Now they work it around the perimeter. There's a double team waiting there. Fakes a jumper, fakes the shot. The small forward handles the feed. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back to you. The center receives the ball. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Boy, terrible execution on offense. He tries to knock down the three. Off target. And he'll kick it back outside. Got some room. He goes for three. That was nice. He can't let this guy have the uncontested shot. He just got to dig in and play some D. Look at that spacing. up for two perfectly executed for that reason right there that's why I love college basketball the man is off the charts Brad well for one dick I'd like to see the hometown crowd get into this one hey the crowd is the x-factor Brad if they can taunt and mock the opponent they could really affect the outcome of this game on the dribble gives it up Here's the three ball. Tickles a twine. Puts it on the floor and up and under. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. it up for the bucket they still don't score coach looks on focused a lot of intensity a lot of emotion on the dribble gives it up here's a double team good job defensively they work it around the perimeter pump fakes for two the Jayhawks have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Down he goes and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. Move it into the front court. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. Looking to move it around the perimeter. High post screen. So effective, that screen. He can't miss. Hey, this young man's feeling it, Brad. Gave it up. There's a bad pass right to the defender. for two. Dick, they're ripping up the Nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. They work the perimeter. Picked out of the air. He tries the three ball. Scorches the net. That's a 9-0 run. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. 
They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? And now in transition, going the other way. Goes up for two. Makes it. That's an 11-zip run. Timeouts can take teams right out of their rhythm, Brad. Let's see what happens here. Got the shot if he wants it. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He's got the post flashing if he wants it for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribble and act here and turns it over. He puts it in with contact and all. There's the screen up on top. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. Steals a pass. Working it around the perimeter. Hopkins fakes the shot. And we've got a whistle and a foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. And look at the facial expression. For two. And he missed. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. He hits the tough shot. I tell you, he's knocking him down with ease, Brad. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. The kick out. He's got an open look for the shot. He shoots from long range. He intercepts it. But inside. Kansas are doing a nice job of putting a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45 degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. And he'll kick it back outside. Kicked off. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Looking for a good shot. The small forward takes the pass in the paint. And he scores despite the hack. Looking for a good shot with a deep shot from outside. He hits the shot. Let's take a look right here. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it.
Picks off the pass. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Too much. That's a foul. And he's going to pick up the foul at all. Oh, look at the look on his face. I tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. He gets it to go. Gets the third. Picks off the lazy pass. Goes up for two. In and out. Tries to get the D to bite. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. They're off into transition. Leans in. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. trying to get him in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. Nick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Has a nice look at the basket. He attempts the three, sinks it. away the pass harm and foul everybody into the act right now and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going and that what makes college so special the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders the mascot Everybody involved. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He's open if he wants the shot. And now there's a whistle and a foul. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. He'll go to the line. First shot, good. Makes the second shot. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Third one is good. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Hobbs is encouraging the fans to keep cheering. He wants everyone up for the next possession. There's the trap. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Now they work it around the perimeter. Double team now, bad angle. Wide open for the shot. He launches the bomb, way off target. Basket falls despite the contact. D 
defense giving no room. Looking to move it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumps in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. At the half, the Jayhawks lead by nine. Dick, we've got a close one here tonight, my friend. Give us your highlight of the night so far. Hey, when the three balls are falling, Brad, you feel like your team can do anything, baby, as we see in this long distance bomb. We're about ready to start the second half, Dick. Let's go down and see how this one unfolds. Indiana is practically handing the ball over to the opposing team like it's a Christmas present or something right now, Dick. Hey, any team would gladly receive this kind of nice gesture. I bet they're not getting anything but a mouthful of criticism from their coaching staff. Dick, start of the second half, we take a look at our focused player, and he's going to have to be the man to come through. I think you got to set some screens for him, a little double screens. He's a great shooter, but he's not getting the opportunity. I think his teammates have to screen for him. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. They work it around the perimeter for the bucket. Perfectly executed. He launches a three. Off the rim and no good. Puts it up, looking for contact. That's battle door defense. Nobody coming over. Nobody giving any help. I mean, that's how you see better defense on a playground. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Here's a flash from the post up high. Takes the pass in the paint. Gave it up. Ball's kicked right back out. Foul charge. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. circle. The Hoosiers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. That he's on fire. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Wants a three. Kansas are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Dick at defense looks tired. Hey, that's no excuse. They've got to dig down deep and get the job done. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. There's the fake. There they come with a double team to stop it. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Off the rim and no good. He puts it in with contact and all. The Jayhawks have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. With a jump hook. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. But inside. The center in the post. Trying to draw the foul. And he scores despite the hack. On the dribble, 
gives it up, launches the three. He nails the bucket. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. There's a double team waiting there. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Defense giving some room. He's got a high post flasher. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover there. I'll tell you, turnovers could absolutely destroy a team. Trying to draw some contact. Kansas are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Looking for the foul. He gets it to fall. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. The Jayhawks have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. He's typically a good shooter. Yeah, but not tonight. He's got to accept that. It's stolen. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. Got a wide open look. Up fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Way off target. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Bryant goes to the line for the first time. Concentrate, gotta concentrate on that free throw line. He misses the second shot. Rebounding is such an effort thing. Getting to the glass, blocking out. There aren't enough good rebounding teams in the nation. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. They work the perimeter. From beyond the arc, he shows the sweet touch. The Hoosiers are trailing by 14. He bombs from outside, makes the shot. Gave it up. Tries for two. They still don't score. Jumped in front to take it away. Number 32 with the fake. He goes with a jump hook. He's good for another score. Hands in his face anytime now, boys. He shoots from left of the circle. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Looking for contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm.
Jumps into the defender. Basket falls despite the contact. And he'll kick it back outside. Looking to move it around the perimeter. If not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Jumped in front to take it away. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the new offensive player to seal him off. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. He goes to the line. Gets his first. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. It's two at the charity strike. Working it around the perimeter. The student body is rocking tonight. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. That bucket counts and he'll go to the line. Hey, excellent job there. Join the foul and finish in the hoop. To the line, shooting one. Up to the nylon, NBN. Pressure's getting to it. For the bucket, the Jayhawks have got to continue to get him the ball. Daddy's on fire. have a lot of history. Isn't it awesome, Brad? You walk into the building, and you know you're somewhere special. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad, before the game, the coaching staff told me they worried this situation could happen. They told me it's so important for the supporting cast to get involved and not rely on one player. Right now, the coaches are trying to get everyone on the bench on the same page, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. It's not uncommon to have a few high risers on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. Leans in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. On the outside, on the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the pass. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. On the inside. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Jumps in. He puts it in with contact and all. <laughs> Gets 
Gave it up. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. On the dribble, gives it up. Look at that spacing. Number 23 has got the people in the bleachers up in appreciation. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. And the fans here are loving the action. Wow, the energy in here is electrifying. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. goes out of bounds. Dick, we get a look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nessler. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. Here's the his shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Got a man in high post. Nice deal there, but the offense gets the ball back. He unloads. It's good. Intercepted. For two. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. Not a very good night at the line, Dick. Absolutely no excuse for that, Brad. No excuse. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Dump it inside. Great defense. The ending to this one might be headline news in tomorrow's paper. Well, offensively, this is when it's extremely important to have the right people shooting the basketball at the right times. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Intercepted. For two. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're fighting each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. They work it around the perimeter. Takes away the pass. Is this home court advantage or what? Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here. And you get balled like I oh, am. Yeah. Hits the first shot. Hits the second shot. Now they work it around the perimeter. Alley-oop. Tries for two. And he scores despite the hack. Dump it inside. Puts it up looking for contact. Finger roll.
Working it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Shoot from left of the circle. That's good. Gave it up. Defensively try to stay with his man, and he's going to pick up a foul. What a poor job defensively. Very slow inside, and they attack him aggressively. High post flashes for the opportunity. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Up, easy one. On the dribble, gives it up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defense and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Trying to draw the foul. Easy one. Gave it up. Stolen ball. A whistle and a foul. The coach not happy on the sideline. Deck the shots seem to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside, outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. The power forward takes the pass. Goes up for two. it on the floor and up and under. I think did a great job creating the good angle too when he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. Had him in the low block but opted against it. Looking for a good shot. The point guard handles the feed. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. to see who's still hot and who's not after a timeout, Dick. Well, you got to think the shooters might be the most effective, Brad. Unloads a three. Off the rim and no good. He intercepts it. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. The Jayhawks have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep shooting the ball. It's simple. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. The power forward gets the ball. Look at that spacing. That's a foul. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion. What passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. The small forward takes the feed. And the ball goes out of play. 
Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover. Day. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Looking for a good shot. Kicks it out. Well, Digger looks like they're going to spend a little bit of time fouling right here. Hobbs steps to the line for the first time. Buries it. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. No rebounding that. They're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Let's get back out on the floor. Down. Rims out. Trying to draw some contact. Basket falls despite the contact. Foul, and that stops the clock again. He steps up to the line. Makes the shot. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. It. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. He puts up the tray. He nails the bucket. And yet another foul. Well, Mr. Vitale, there's the foul situation so far. Hey, Brad, staying out of foul trouble, then the stretch of any game is final. You want to keep your opponents off the free throw line and out of bonus situations. He makes the front end of the one and one. Second one, good. This is a key possession. They must score here, baby. The lead is six. Hey, a tray here in this place to go absolutely bananas, Brad. I can feel it. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. At the free throw line. Opportunity. Gets his first. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. No doubt. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. They work it around the perimeter. In the paint. Looking for the foul. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. On the dribble, gives it up. Our focus player update, our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I'll tell you one thing, he was sensational. He made all big shots. He really wanted the ball. I thought he was very aggressive offensively. Indiana comes away with a win. With two teams like this, you knew the game was going to be close. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.